That all those people that Mr. Aka in the HDMI worked with, they will also be brought to book. I have given their names to the Anti Corruption Commission. Mr. Norman Imbazima, I, I know he's not in the country. I want to appeal to him, he's a citizen, if he's a responsible citizen. When you'll be called upon to come and answer some few questions, I hope he will avail himself. I'm actually looking for him, I've been looking for a contact for Mr. Norman Imbazima, and I'm making this public. I want to have access to Mr. Norman Imbazima so that he too can come and, uh, you know, help with the investigations that the, the, the Anti-Corruption Commission have started. I have also, uh, he's talking about the farm. He says, no, uh, it is uh, in court, I'm, I'm being contemptuous. I am not discussing the details I'm not discussing the details of their court matter relating to that farm. I'm not discussing that. I am simply, simply talking about how come that this farm which belonged to Rima Bank is now in his hands. This is simply what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about. If you go to the registry, you will find that Mr. Aka in the HDMI owns this farm. But this farm belonged to Lima Bank through a mortgage. And he was liquidating Lima Bank. This is all I'm talking about. So there is nothing contemptuous what he's talking about. But these are, this is the guilt and trying to threaten me. Trying to threaten me with contempt. Instead of responding, how did he buy that farm? How did he get that farm? So as far as I'm concerned, I owe Mr. Aka in the HDMI no apology. What I said, what I said, I said, this is what I found out. This is what I found out. This is the evidence that I have. And as a responsible citizen, I'm taking this to the authorities, to the relevant authorities, to look into these matters. And this is what I've done. I've taken these, my evidence, to the Anti-Corruption Commission. Let the Anti-Corruption Commission look into these matters. And at the end of the day, if Mr. Aka in the HDMI will be exonerated, will be exonerated. But I want to insist, because I saw the excitement on social media. Yes, the has been sued. Yes, the is going to pay this. The excitement that the social media has, especially those supporters, is the excitement they should have the day that Mr. Aka in the HLMA will be found guilty. I am sending this message through you, the media. Tell the supporters of Mr. Aka in the HLMA, who, by the way, include some of the international communities. Because we know, I know for a fact that some international communities, some conglomerates, are supporting Mr. Aka in the HLM. And they were very excited that Mr. Aka in the HLM is demanding 10 million kwacha from me. I am telling you that that excitement you had, you should have the same excitement if Mr. Aka in the HLM is convicted. Because I know what will happen. If Mr. Aka in the HLM is convicted based on my evidence, they will turn around and start saying, no, there's no democracy. No, Mr. Aka in the HLM has been barred from standing. If you can celebrate Mr. Aka in the HLM demanding 10 million kwacha from me, you should also celebrate when Mr. Aka in the HLM is found guilty and convicted because the law should not apply differently. The law should not segregate. When it is somebody that is influential, we are quick to defend them, to come up with all sorts of excuses. I don't want this. I have started this, and I'm glad Mr. Aka Inde Ichirema has asked 10 million kwacha from me. I am telling Maka Inde, Maka Inde, if the court clears you, I'll give you 10 million kwacha. I'll give you. I will give you 10 million kwacha. If the court clears you, I will give you 10 million kwacha. 
Ah, but if the court convicts you, I want you to thank me and give me that three-bedroom house you promised. Give me that three-bedroom house you promised. This, this, uh, uh, this issue is on. It is now on. It is between myself and Mr. Aka in the Ichirin. And I'm telling everybody, please, at the end of it, don't start bringing in other issues. I know I, what I'm fearing, why I'm insisting on this, I know a lot of people jump around to say, Mr. Aka in the Ichirin, because he was the strongest contender, he has been bad. No. These are matters, I started them here. Mr. Aka in the Ichirin has responded to me. Don't come in and start bringing in other issues pertaining to democracy. Verity, you know, I like to face things. At the end of the day, you will hear them start saying, no, Edgar Lungu is whatever. APF, whatever. Edgar Lungu has I've got issues with Edgar Lungu himself eh? and his government, not particularly himself, but his ministers. I am fighting them. I've got two ministers, I've been saying this, two ministers that I'm following. The day, the day that Brian Mushimba will walk out as a, not as a minister, I will be at the Anti-Corruption Commission. So for me, it's not about PF, it's not about UPND, it's not about politics, it's about what did Mr. Aka in the HLMA do? And this is what I'm following him about. At the end of the day, Haka in the HLMA is convicted. He what, what? You are happy he's asking for 10 million kwacha. The day that you'll be convicted and you go to jail, don't you react the same way that you did Pali Wakambuli. When Wakambuli was convicted, Wakambuli, the case was clear, very clear, very straightforward. The evidence is irrefutable. Even himself couldn't defend the facts that I brought in court. He couldn't. At the end of the day, he was convicted. And he, some of you started jumping around to say, no, Mr. E, 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 it, is, it is political, it is what, it is what. The evidence speaks for itself. I showed you the evidence here. And I've taken that evidence to the anti-corruption commission. On the NRC, I want to get to because some issues cannot go to the anti-corruption commission. Like the issue on the identity. The issue of the identity cannot go to the anti-corruption commission. The issue of the identity goes to the police. And yesterday and today, part of this morning, I only came out of the Anti-Corruption Commission, uh, you know, slightly after 10. Those issues, I've left them with the Anti-Corruption Commission. When I finish with the Anti-Corruption Commission, now that I've finished, I'll now mo move to go and report to the police on the issue of the identity. These are my cases. And I am, um, I doubt, Mr. Akai, Mr. Akai in the Hichirim, who will escape this. So, those of you, those who are in UPND and supporters of UPND, I guess they should Mark my words, UPND start looking for another candidate. Because from my point of view as a layman, when I look at the evidence, When I looked at the evidence which I had, Bali Wakambui, I'm confident on the H. The man was the property. That, that, uh, the property is found in your hands. What evidence are they going to bring? What defense are they going to bring to exonerate him? Just that, just that, if you just pick that one, I think that, where is Waka in the HMA going to remain? There is nothing contact here. I'm talking about privatization. So, it's a friendly advice to the UPND. Start looking for another candidate. Haka in the HMA, I very much doubt is going to is going to survive that 10 pin is asking you should prepare i think he
I know it's a good time. If there are questions, you can ask me.